Now, Elon, you're, you're classically trained as an engineer. As a physicist. Is physicist. Okay, <laughs> here's the question then. What's better, a scientist or an engineer? Who wins? Engineer. Every time? Uh, well, I wouldn't say every time. And a lot of people that sort of um, are known for their scientific discoveries are actually really great engineers, like Galileo, for example. Okay. Okay, very good. If you're to balance, who's the coolest, an engineer or a physicist? Well, it's like arguing who is cooler, my left hand or my right hand, right? You, you have to have both, and they work in synchronization. However, there are some real whoppers in, in history. We invented the transistor, but we didn't do anything with the transistor. It was left to the engineers who then ran with it to revolutionize modern civilization. The laser. The laser was invented by physicists. But again, it was the engineers who then would commercialize it and, and change the fabric of our life with it. Uh, radio, television, um, nuclear medicine, x-rays, all of that originally came from physics. And to go back even farther, the DNA molecule was sequenced yeah. by a physicist, uh, Francis Crick, working with James Watson. So you realize that physicists make the initial breakthrough, but then we stop. We lose interest in it. We don't want to commercialize it. We don't want to like change all of society. We lose interest and we go on to the next frontier. So that's where we uh, physicists and engineers have to work hand in hand because ultimately it has a huge impact on wealth, on jobs, our well-being, and the fabric of, of society itself. I, I think you know, it, it is an interesting debate as to sort of does engineering drive discoveries in physics or just physics to you know just drive discoveries in engineering. I think actually it's mostly engineering, um, and I think for example in in recent years, um, if you look at how um, how much physics has slowed down because of the lack of really uh, um, engineering in the form of a collider, so everybody's just sitting around waiting for a bloody collider. So I'd say if, if physics was really driving things, why aren't the advancements being made? Uh, and, and it's I think it's it's clearly uh, the engineering of the of the collider is what drives the advancements.